John 19:30 when Jesus therefore had received the vinegar he said it is finished amen and he bowed his head and gave up the ghost it is finished when he gave up all that hallelujah jesus he was just translated into another world hallelujah every time we surrender to god it's that we are translated into another world we come from the natural world into the supernatural world hallelujah jesus have you done things in your own strength and they have failed to work out you tr- and you you've given up just like jesus said it is finished he bowed down his head and gave up his ghost he surrendered his spirit to the master god created your human spirit God created your body. If only we surrendered our bodies to God, our everything to God, he gave up and the spirit of the Lord took over. Hallelujah, Jesus. Even at the cross Jesus went through complaints. He said, "Father, Father, why have you forsaken me?" until he gave up. Amen. God is calling us to the dimension of surrendering. We've done things in our own strength. Like right now you could be thinking, "Now after the lockdown, what else?" you've budgeted your money on the account you say maybe if the lockdown maybe extends this is it you're planning things in your own strength our ways are not god's ways our thoughts are not god's thoughts every plan that you have that's why he tells us in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall do it he shall direct your path in all your ways let us begin acknowledging god in all our ways and he will do it he will direct our path but when you go to john 20 These ladies went to the tomb. It was dark. They went to the tomb, but finding at the tomb Jesus was no longer there. Hallelujah Jesus. He was what? He was no longer there. And they were told, "Why are you looking for the living among the dead?" Hallelujah Jesus. He's no longer there. At times we are praying and praying and praying, and the Lord has already answered us, and we need to walk into a new season. Hallelujah Jesus. We need to walk into a season of celebrating. We need to walk into a season of the finished work of Christ. Some of you are there you're weeping day and night you're weeping day and night Jesus asked the woman woman why are you weeping why are you crying Jesus was no longer there You could be crying right now about the situations that you are going through. But Jesus is saying, "Why are you crying? Don't you see? Don't you see that I'm no longer in the grave? Don't you see that it is finished?" He says at the cross at Calvary, "It was finished." Don't you see that it was finished? I took it out of the way nailing it to the cross. It takes a step of faith. Hallelujah, Jesus. It takes a step of faith and giving up yourself saying, "God, I am here. God, I have surrendered. Jesus gave up his ghost." Hallelujah Jesus. He surrendered and he said it is finished. Nonetheless not my will but your will. This is a time where we are saying nonetheless Lord I don't know what is going to happen with my job. I don't know what is going to happen with my children's school fees. God nonetheless not my will but your will. I continually surrender. I don't know how you get going to get me out of the fish's belly that was Jonah. But God I surrender to you and he began to repent in the fish's belly. Wherever you are right now Hallelujah Jesus even the fact that we are in the fish belly hallelujah Jesus crocodiles would have eaten Jonah anything else would have eaten him but you are in the fish belly intact hallelujah Jesus you are in the fish belly intact there's coronavirus in nations it has killed people we are so sorry for that we decree and declare divine healing for the infected people but he was intact None of his body was pierced. Hallelujah Jesus. Now, when Jesus was being buried in the tomb, the guy asked for his body intact. Hallelujah Jesus. They took it in the tomb intact and there was resurrection. Hallelujah Jesus. They put the stone at the tomb. But when they put a stone at the tomb, it did not mean that God is not there. Hallelujah. Sometimes it appears as though there is a great rock in front of us. Great rock. powerful rock but when your time for deliverance has come like i feel upon my spirit when your time for deliverance has come it's not about who is going to roll away the stone amen it is not about that it is not who is going to open the fish mouth <laughs> hallelujah jesus no about who is going to open the fish mouth when your time has come god will just use the supernatural the supernatural will intervene it is supernatural intervention when jesus was going to heaven it was supernatural he was lifted he was teleported back to heaven hallelujah and the bible says we are spiritual beings amen 
this body does not matter it is your spiritual that matters though your outward man is perishing in this season your inward man is being renewed day by day mm-hmm. hallelujah jesus mm-hmm. i believe in this season god is raising great and mighty women of god mm-hmm. god is raising people whose hearts are after his own heart even if i have no this i am going to trust you even if you haven't done this i am still going to trust you i have given up hallelujah i am in the finished work of christ sometimes you just need to let god be god Moses was trying to question him God what will I tell the people how do I tell the people of Pharaoh that who has sent me and God told him go and tell them who I am I am that I am go and tell them I am has sent me and was there say I am I am I am your healer I am your restorer I am your comforter that is in Exodus chapter 3 verse 13 and Moses said to God behold when I come to the children of Israel and shall say to them the God of your father has sent me to you and they shall say to me what is his name what shall i say to them let me just look for another translation of that let me look at the open bible moses said to god suppose i go to the israelites and say to them the god of your fathers has sent me to you and they ask me what is his name and god said to moses i am who i am this is what you say to the israelites i am has sent me to you god says i am what I am who I am. Let me look for another translation. New King James. He says, Then Moses said to God, Indeed, when I come to the children of Israel and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they said to me, What is his name? What shall I say to them? And God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, Thus you shall say to the children of Israel, I am has sent me to you. Moreover God said to Moses that you shall say to the children of Israel the God of your fathers amen the God of what your fathers he did it before the God of Abraham testimony God hallelujah Jesus the God of Abraham he was drawing them back i am that i am the God of your fathers the God of Abraham hallelujah who caused him to give birth at an old age the God of Abraham who blessed him in a land that was what not fatai hallelujah jesus the god of isaac hallelujah jesus testimony god i am that i am he was telling them i am that i am i have done it before the god of jacob even after those years he all those years 14 years he brought restoration unto him because jacob left the house of laban after 20 years but when he left the house of laban he left very blessed and he was very rich hallelujah jesus he became very rich it doesn't matter how long it has taken i am that i am hallelujah jesus our god is he is the great i am hallelujah jesus he is i am that i am and has sent me to you this is my name forever and this is my memorial to all generations so which generation are you this is my memorial to all generations we are in the finished work of Christ whom will i say whom will you tell the people that has sent me he said i am that i am zendi chendi i am who i am hallelujah jesus i have done it before i'm the god of abraham the god of isaac and the god of jacob he has sent me hallelujah jesus so he has manifested in all those generations and is still the god of our world, of our generation hallelujah jesus go and gather the elders of israel together and say to them the lord god of your fathers the god of abraham of isaac and of jacob appeared to me saying did what appeared to me saying so i'm here to tell you that god already appeared he appeared saying i am that i am hallelujah jesus i am the god of abraham i am the god of isaac i am the god of jacob i am the god of azamadia i am the god of the kingdom finances i am the god of beautiful ashes I'm the god of uganda i'm the god of efi i'm the god of gogo the god of who hallelujah jesus henry who priscilla who mosh who the god of whoever hallelujah all the ministers of beautiful ashes all the listeners of beautiful ashes i am that i am even those who are listening in from outside countries he says i am that i am that is our god hallelujah jesus and he said i have surely visited you and seen what is done to you in what in egypt god has seen the people die 
He has seen the people recover. He has seen. I feel revival sounds. Hallelujah, Amen. Jesus. Amen. In nations right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That is why he is looking for vessels. He sent Moses. Because the children of Israel had cried for a deliverer. Hallelujah, Jesus. I want to tell you this morning, the Lord has heard your cry. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He has done what? He has heard your cry. And I have said, I will bring you out of affliction of Egypt to the land of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Pazitites and the Jebusites and the Jebusites to a land flowing with milk and honey. Amen. Amen. But who are these Jebusites? When we're coming into 2020, the Lord told us, you know what? Double blessing, blessing on every side and perfect vision. Perfect vision. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. But why is it that the Jebusites came in? The Jebusites and Parasites, that is the, the lockdown, COVID-19, does not prevent the land to flow with milk and honey. Hallelujah, Jesus. It can't prevent because God said, I am that I am. Hallelujah, Jesus. I change not. Hmm? Thank you, Holy Spirit, to the land that is flowing with what? With milk and honey. Let us believe God. Let us believe in his finished work. And let us believe in his promises as well. God bless you. Beauty for Ashes, rescuing an endangered generation.